Hi, my name is Caleb Ward Cavanis, and I work on gene and environment interactions and coronary artery disease in Elizabeth Hauser's lab. I'm currently going into my third year as a computational biology student. And um, as far as one of the things that brought me here to Duke was that I had two interviews, Duke and UCLA. And I love the city of UCLA, but the science was just a lot better at Duke. The professors were sharper, all my interviews were better. And so I just figured I couldn't pass up on that kind of opportunity. So here I am. Um, one of the things I love most about the city of Durham is that um, I come from New Orleans, I'm a huge foodie. Um, and so I just love, love to eat. And Durham is probably one of the food meccas of the South. I mean, if you love great food, uh, local food, really any kind, like you'll love it down here. Um, one of the things I love most about being a graduate student is just the flexibility and going to conferences. Um, getting reimbursed in a couple of weeks to go to Vancouver for a week, uh, one presentation on the first day, and you know, pretty much the rest is vacations and talks. So you really can't beat that. And as all my friends who are in the working world love to tell me, you can't beat being able to set your own schedule. So I'm get soaking up every minute of that that I can. And one thing that you wish you would have known before becoming a graduate student? Uh, one thing I wish I would have known was just how much reading goes into being a graduate student. Like, you know, I came in, you know, undergraduate science, most of my projects were laid out, most of the things I had to do, like, just get in there and do it. You come to graduate school, all that goes out the window. Your project, there's some loosely defined term, and there's a lot of reading that goes into it. So I think if I had known that, I could have prepared, mentally prepared myself a bit better. How would you describe your graduate student experience from a social perspective? Um, from a social perspective, it's a lot more fun than I was expecting, to be honestly. Um, there's a lot more opportunities to go out and meet other graduate students. Um, there's camp out where you get your uh, season tickets for basketball. Um, there's different societies you can get involved with. There's Gypsy. And then, uh, of course, there's Boucher, which is the uh, Society for Minority Scientists, uh, especially in the biomedical field. And that just offers you an opportunity to get together and chat about science, life, pretty much anything, and uh, really get like a close-knit community of people you can uh, lean on for the next four to five years. Um, describe to me how this working environment um, is your typical working environment, what you study. Um, so I study computational biology, which basically means that I use computers to study biology. Um, right now I'm working on smoking, air pollution, and a whole lot of genetic data. Um, and so. Basically for several hours a day, I sit here, um, I work on a computer, and I run simulations, I run analyses, things that you just couldn't do um, without the aid of a computer. Um, looking at millions of SNPs across thousands of people, across you know the entire state of North Carolina, would just be impossible without this. So. And do you have any concluding or welcoming remarks for our incoming students? Um, just want to say welcome to Duke. Uh, you should have a lot of fun while you're here. And uh, definitely make sure to, you know, do your science, but get out a good bit too. Hi, I'm Larry Kulabash. I'm a third year graduate student in the medical physics department. For my research, I use PET imaging techniques to study plant physiology. And as you can see around me, we uh, like to change the environment of the plant to see how it re responds to such things as carbon dioxide levels and low nutrient um, solutions. So Larry, uh, what brought you to the Duke Graduate School program rather than another program? I actually chose Duke because of the research infrastructure that it has. And because I had a strong uh, relationship with my mentor before coming here, I decided to um, help him with his uh, study and learn more about plant physiology. And how did you develop that relationship with that mentor? As an undergraduate at NCCU, I worked here um, building a, uh, you could say a neutron scatterer. Um, and we worked for about a year doing that. So, Larry, tell me one thing that you really love about being a graduate student at Duke. I love being a graduate student because I could actually implement my own ideas and during the research and actually see the end result work out. And it really gives me a, a good sense of self-fulfillment.
So what's one thing that you wish you would have known before becoming a graduate student? Well, my first year in graduate school was pretty rough because um, if I knew that I should have developed closer friendships and uh, build a, a stronger network with my fellow students, I wouldn't have studied on my own and maybe my time management would have been better. So how would you describe your social experience um, uh, uh, since you've been here as a graduate student? On Duke campus or in the Duke community, there's so much things to do socially. Um, sometimes you can get overwhelmed with uh, all the activities. But So I think it's a great place to um, socially just have to m manage my time better. Or as a grad student, time is an issue. So I think it's a great place to uh, meet new people and develop friendships. Wonderful. Can that later. Um, tell me one thing that you really love about Durham or about the surrounding community. Well, okay. So <clears throat> I think Durham is a great place to live. I'm from the north and I, I fell in love with the area because of the natural resources, uh, the parks in the area. Um, I, down the road is a Durham Bulls um, baseball stadium. I love going there and hanging out. And there's so much things to do in this area that it's, um, it's a great place to go to school and it's very relaxing. So, so that's all I really have. I just want to welcome you to Duke and I look forward to seeing you on campus sometime. Tamika John, I'm a rising third year in molecular genetics and microbiology. I study HIV, the immune response to HIV infection in the lab of George Tamars. Okay, Tamika, um, what brought you to Duke University for graduate school rather than another school? Okay, so when I applied to come to graduate school, I knew that I wanted to be someplace that was just perfect for me. Um, that meant location. I didn't want to be too far from my family. They live four hours away in Maryland, so I knew that I was going to be between New York and North Carolina. Um, when I came to my interview, the feel of the school was great. The breadth of the research, just the people that were around me, I could tell this would be a great place to not only do the research, but to start my graduate life and to build a great network. Wonderful. So, describe to me one thing that you love about being a graduate student. I think one thing I really love about being a graduate student is just being able to be at the forefront of discovery. Um, especially in my field where there's always like articles in Time Magazine or other places about this new HIV vaccine or all these HIV prospects. It's really cool just being able to be like, that's not going to work. We talked about that like three months ago and we all decided that that was just a bad idea and the results weren't as great as this um, article makes them seem. So just being at the forefront of discovery is such an important field. I think it's just an excellent feeling. Very cool, very cool. So what's one thing you wish you would have known about graduate school before coming to graduate student? <coughs> I think one thing that is really helpful is just the path, just having knowledge of the path that it takes to reach that PhD, to reach that final um, destination. It's not just about science. It's not just about how you perform in classes and how handy you are with a pipette. It goes way past that. It has a lot to do with the politics and just building networks and just fitting in where you are and as far as your department goes and your peers, other graduate students, your peers in lab, whether they're postdocs or senior scientists and just finding your niche. So it's just knowledge of the entire experience versus just the what people normally think of the graduate school part, which is just the classes and the lab. Very true. So how would you describe your graduate student experience from a social perspective? I think in the beginning at times it was kind of isolating um, and it, it definitely there are times where you need to be isolated because you need to focus on your work and you need to be able to just have your own thoughts and to just think for yourself because that's what you're here to do is just learn how to think and how to perform on your own. Um, so at times it could be isolating but I think in retrospect, when I think back to it, a lot of those times I was kind of isolating myself because I felt that I needed to be isolated. Um, but once I kind of got over that, like, this is crazy, I need to talk to people and see other people, it's very, very good just because I get to interact with other people, not only in my field or not only in sciences, but across the board. And Duke is a great place to meet people who are in the business school, um, who are going to be like, you know, future lawyers, doctors, um, pastors, ministers, and it's so incredible just to have conversations with those people and just to see like, wow, this is how they think, like, I can't believe that, you know, there's people who just sit down and 
study this and study that and there's people who enjoy their lives from a different perspective so it's, it's been really really great wonderful so tell me one thing that you really love about Durham or the surrounding community um one thing I really love about Durham is the fact that it's such to me it's such an unexpected place like I was like okay I'm moving to the south I spent my entire life living outside of a big city. I was like, okay, I'm going to just go. There's going to be farms. And I just have to deal with it because I just have to focus on school. And this would be a great place for me to focus on school. Now, it is a great place for me to focus on school. But there is such a mixture in Durham. Like, whether you're talking about restaurants, um, there's just a mixture of cultures. Like, I could find people, like any other normal person, like, I have different aspects or different facets of my personality. And I could find people that could really nurture different aspects like whether it's I can find a church just full of Caribbean people that invite me to dinner or I can find people who like to go out and party, go out to the club, or I can find people who like to sit and talk about like articles from science or talk about, you know, problems that are going on in the economy. I can find a lot of different people from different cultures, different backgrounds. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect to have all that in Durham. But I'm really happy that I came and I'm really happy that I did find what I did find. So Tamika, do you have any closing or welcoming remarks for our incoming students? Yeah, just welcome to Duke, welcome to Durham, we're glad to have you. I just hope that you guys just remember that when times get tough, you just remember that you're here for a reason, you're smart, you're talented. It was a mistake that we picked you. Um, we all have rough patches where we kind of doubt ourselves and we have a hard time in lab. But just know that we have a ton of resources available here, whether it's the Boucher Society, whether it's Cheryl Lynn's office, um, your peers in your department, PIs, um, your DGS, just we're here for you. We're here to serve you. We're here to make sure that you do what you came here to do. If you have a problem, feel free, please feel free to just reach out. Let someone know. You don't have to let them know all the details of all your business, but just let someone know so we can serve you the best that we can. And look forward to seeing you around campus. <laughs>
social events and key movies with your friends or go out to Durham and just experiment in restaurants or anything really. So it makes Durham a really interesting place. So tell me, what's one thing that you really love about Durham or the surrounding community? Um, that it's not a huge city, but it's also not like a small town. So it's a nice in-between. So if you want the small town feeling, but also a lot of the big city things like musicals and plays and movies, come to Durham. Wonderful. Um, and so finally, can you just give us any concluding remarks that you would have for the incoming students next year? Um, I would say stay positive. This whole experience can be a little tiresome sometimes or frustrating, but in the end, you know, it's all worth it. So once again, I would like to say welcome to Duke. Thank you.